climate's obviously very, um, it's a real issue for growers. And when I think about it, it's because we've had two crop losses in a decade. So the first one in the tart cherry industry was pre me at 2002, and we lost the tart cherry crop. And then we lost the tart cherry crop again in 2012. And then that 2012, we also lost apples, sweet cherries, and all the other things. And the 2002 freeze was really just targeted at cherries. I think that we do have some variables. I think that we uh, obviously warm up a lot slower, which has always been in our favor in most cases because it, and then the other thing is we're really close to the water. So we usually don't grow wine grapes or cherries this far north in other regions of the world. But I think we have this moderating effect of Lake Michigan. And so um, when you have that cold air that comes from the west blows across that water, it keeps our cherries or apples dormant for a lot longer. So we're slow to start in the spring, which hopefully that means they come out of dormancy slowly and we don't get nipped by uh, spring frost. In 2012, we saw that we just warmed up and we were blooming in sweet cherries on uh, May 29th. And then we were just hit by frost after frost after frost. And so that's a real challenge I see for growing fruit in Michigan in general. And so um, that body of water is really important for us in this area. So I think that's one thing we're looking at. I feel like our growers up here are very aware of climate variability. So I think growers are really interested in trying to figure out how we mitigate risk from that climate. You know, if we just get these early warm ups. And so I think that's one thing we're looking at. And I think that we've been really vocal. And I think one of the things that we've been really happy and pleased is with Senator Stabenow recognize that when we lost the tart cherry crop in 2000, and 12, we didn't have insurance options. And I think that's been changed because of our growers are like, hey, we really, if you know, insurance, if we choose it, we'd like to have that as an option. So that's something I think we've done and worked really closely with Senator Sabinow to get, you know, at least some help for growers or an option for help if we continue to see these changes in weather.